are here in Norway testing our Trion 530 against the Tucano 430. So the direct successor of the former Tucano is here on the field. We are in the cap, the brand new cap of that machine. And yeah, we have tested today the both machines on the same field, same time against each other. And uh, yeah, we could show that the new Trion has a higher throughput than the old Tucano both with the same quality and the same loss level and therefore I have my two colleagues with me and yeah we traveled in the last two months throughout Europe so we started uh, at the Bulgarian border in Romania we worked uh, a lot of hours in different countries to test the machines and yeah to show what we improved on the new Trion. We have to be all focused on, on what we what we are doing so it's a lot of preparation time before the initial field test so you have to find a farmer who uh, is interesting and allows us to do the test on his field and the field itself has to be properly uh, leveled and uh, equal crop for to do the test there and that is not that easy and therefore we always work with our colleagues in the different countries together because only with their support such a test is possible there. Yeah. And you mentioned the losses. Why is the losses so important when you do a test? The loss level is absolutely important because you only can compare combines on the same day in the same field uh, at the same time on the same loss level. And yeah, the loss level of 1% is really common in a lot of countries. So that is the maximum loss level which farmers uh, accept. And yeah, the throughput can only be measured if both combines uh, are working with the same loss level. And therefore, we have a bushel plus kit with us, uh, which we use underneath the combine. And there is a loss pan inside. And here from the combine, um, we adjusted it before the test. So we checked some different settings with the machines and to find the right setting. And in the test, we of course did a lot of measurements to see if the loss level is at around 1%. If not, we had to decrease the speed. If we stayed under 1%, we increased the speed. So one of my colleagues was all the time checking the losses while I was driving with the combine. And we also measure the fuel consumption. Yes, of course. Yeah, that's another point. So in these tests, we check the throughput at 1% loss level and of course we also measuring the amount of fuel which we used in the test and therefore before the test we filled up both machines to the top and after the test we refilled them with a mobile fuel station equipped with a, with a flow meter and with that we could see how much fuel we used with each combine um, yeah, to reach the throughput. Uh, in that test. All these tests in different countries, why do you do these tests? Yeah, we decided to do it like this, this year with the Trion, um, because we think it's really important to involve the sales guys in the different countries, also the farmers, and to show the throughput of the machines directly in the countries under the conditions, because field conditions are incredibly different between countries and also within countries. So we decided yeah, it only makes sense to show the machine uh, capacity directly in the country. Yeah. So uh, after two months traveling around and harvesting, uh, what have you learned about the new Trion? I've learned a lot. So it's a really reliable machine, a really proven thrashing system which is inside, a really new cap. It has much more space and the visibility on the header is much better than in the former cap and of course the new CBIS. It's, it's really easy to handle and the armrest uh, yeah, is maybe really, yeah, for some guys it's familiar because we have it also on the Lexion and yeah, so the throughput tests which we have done so far are quite good. So they showed that the machine has a really, really high throughput at a low loss level and yeah, the smashing quality is, is really good. So that is the feedback which we got so far from all the farmers where we could do the tests. Because this is the successor of uh, the former Tucano, but uh, can you give us a, a short overview about the news? So we have three different um, model series of Trions, so 500, so we are here on the 530, 
Trion, so 500 stands for five walker machines. Then we have 600 Trions, they are standing for six walker machines. And we have the 700 series, which is a hybrid machine. And on that hybrid machines, on the bigger models, we can go up to 12 meter cutter bar width and up to uh, 12 rows on our corn heads. So it's the same, we can offer nearly all our headers for the new Trion series. And on the feeder house we have done some improvements, so we offer uh, now a fourth um, feeder house, the standard Echo one, for that, such guys who are not interested to have maybe auto contour and the cruise pilot roller. And yeah, that's the main thing in front of the combine. Then I think here the most impressive uh, new feature is the new cap. So we are sitting here in our new cap, which we also introduced together with the Trion. New Cebus with modified armrest and new steering column. Um, I'm sitting here on the standard seat, but we also have a leather seat available. And with that leather seat, we can swivel 15 degrees to the right and 15 degrees to the left to have a bit more leg room for drivers who are tall like me. So it is the most impressive point on that new um, combine. And there are some more things which we cannot see at the moment. We, we would have to go down and open the covers of the machine. So the accessibility to the swashing system itself is much more easier and convenient. Uh, so we have the segmented concave, which we can offer where we can change 60% of the concave area really easily with two bolts to make a combine multi-crop ready. So if you want to change from small grains to maybe corn, we can change uh, the part of the swashing system really easily with two bolts and the combine is from the swashing system nearly ready uh, for corn. We have to do some more adjustments, but they are all easily to access. And then here we have grain bin volume up to 12,000 liters. So we are starting at 8,000 and going up to 12,000 liter with a maximum of 130 liters uh, unloading weight. And I think that is quite impressive for a mid-size combine like the Trio. Yeah. And uh, on this combine we have the quantimeter and uh, well, yes. as well uh, a little of this uh, CMOS package. Can yes, you of course. explain a little bit about yeah. the CMOS? Yeah. Yeah, we have the quantimeter inside and here we're seeing on the right bottom of the screen the quantimeter show at the moment he's showing no throughput per hour because our um, the header is lifted up so no material is going through the machine but i think the more impressive point is the auto cleaning which we have on this trion i think the big big point is that we can offer the whole cmos package for that mid-size combine now so starting with the entry package, that means the cruise pilot, which we can offer, um, where we have then the forward speed, which is connected to the loss measuring. And when we have adjusted the um, loss sensors properly, the cruise pilot goes only so far um, up with the speed until we reach the loss limit, which we have set. And that is our entry package, which we offer. On this machine, we have next to the cruise pilot also CMOS auto cleaning. Auto cleaning, we can see it here on the screen. There is an A, A for automatic, and the automatic is turned on, so we can see it as green. And with that function, CMOS is all the time adjusting the top sieve, the bottom sieve, and also the fan speed. So he's using the quantimeter and the quantimeter is combined with the granimeter, granimeter. So you can see it here on the left side of the screen. We have here an electronic measuring of the amount of total material in our return elevator. And next to that, we see there's a granimeter function. So with the granimeter function, he's also showing us how much kernels are inside of the grain elevator. And with this information, CMOS is adjusting the sieve settings to get the sample as clean as possible. And here, the easy function for me as a driver, I can do it like I'm doing it now, going on optimization. And here I can choose, do I want to have the sample cleaner or do I want to increase my throughput? And I only press on it. And now I see it's going in the middle. So the function is is between maximum throughput and maximum um, maximum cleanness in the sample but i want to have the clean a really really clean sample and then i put it on two so i only can 
also can do it here and if I want to I could also turn it off but here makes only sense to have auto cleaning on because no driver would close the bottom sieve to 3 millimeters in summer barley and the top sieve to 10 and he is doing it all the time so he's adjusting the top sieve and the bottom sieve and also the fan speed and the sample is getting really really clean. That is the mid-size package and we also offer the full CMOS full package. Then we would have also next to CMOS Auto Cleaning a grain quality camera which is sitting on the top of the grain elevator. And this camera is looking all the time on the sample and is looking how many uh, mock, so material other than grain and also broken kernels we do have in the sample. And I as a driver look into my bin and say, oh no, that's maybe way too, way too dirty and I have too much maybe uh, straw inside and then I can adjust here in, in the CBIS under strategies that I want to have it maybe cleaner and then he would also adjust the concave clearance and the drum speed of the thrashing drum. That's really impressive. Yeah. You have been to Norway uh, for 24 hours now. What's your short impression about uh, how we farm here? Yeah, it's it's really nice. So the structure of the farms is is quite small. So a lot of farms are family owned. The harvest time is quite short here in Norway. So we are really up in the north of Europe. And yeah, we can see it. It is cloudy again. Yesterday we had five millimeters of rain. And today we could start at uh, 2 p.m. to harvest. Um, so yeah, the harvest window is really narrow and the field size also is not that big. We are here on a 10 hectare field and I think that is quite big and yeah. unusual to find in Norway. So the normal field size is not that big. And uh, yeah, usually here are a lot of um, yeah, summer crops and yeah. So they have to be harvested in a short window because I think it looks around that we maybe get rain in an hour. So we will try to finish here the last one and a half hectares of that field today. And uh, yeah, for tomorrow, we already booked our flight home to Germany um, because that today here was then our last test in small grains. And in two weeks, two and a half weeks, we will start with some more tests in Romania. But there we will uh, test the machines and nutrients in sunflowers and corn. But here, my, my uh, version of Norway is really good, so the people are really friendly and open-minded and I think that is the most important point here to do a test in the country. So, thank you so much for coming to Norway and yeah, uh, have a course. safe trip home. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the invitation and all the support here.